In this video, we're going to create this whole 8-bit retro-looking dashboard page, which is looking awesome both in light and dark mode. And we are going to build it in Next.js using V0, ShadCN and 8BitCN. As always, you have this code available on a public GitHub repository, it's in the description below. And let's start building this thing. First thing we are going to do, as always, is to install a fresh copy of Next.js. So I'm typing in npx create next app latest, and we are going to call our project 8-bit dashboard. So we are going to choose all the defaults, TypeScript, ESL, Intel, and CSS, etc. So we are just hitting enter. And now we are installing our Next.js application. Now, when that one is done, we can go to 8-bit dashboard directory and run pmpm dev. So now, on our localhost 3000, we have the default Next.js page. And now, we are going to create our dashboard page with ShadCN using v0. So I'm going to v0 by Vercel, and here I'm going to say, create me a dashboard page with ShadCN. It should have sidebar and let's say some statistics and a table of products, for example. So let's see what is it going to come up with. This is perfect. We don't need anything else. So we have here our sidebar, these like statistics. We have here a table full of products, this button search. Nice. So this is great. I'm just going to use this from the code so here we can copy and paste this entire page and we can put it on our page here and now we can just copy the rest so here we can take this components dashboard and we have dashboard content so we need to create a new folder to call it components and inside we are creating a dashboard directory and what was the name of the dashboard content that's the name of the component content.tsx and we are pasting that one in and next one is dashboard page so we are going to create that one also so here in the dashboard directory creating a new file here dashboard page.tsx copy pasting that one as well and last one is dashboard sidebar so here also why is it so tricky to enter this dashboard directory dashboard sidebar.tsx and also there copy pasting the entire thing and here we have a badge we are just going to import that one from ShedCN. So what we need to do now is to install ShedCN. So we are going here to get started, then Next.js, and I'm just going to initialize it on our project. So here I'm opening a new directory, pasting the pmpm dlx ShedCN latest init command, and we're going to use color stone as always, forcing everything that we need to force because of the React 19, and that one is installed. So now we need to check which components are we using here so we can just import them so we're using sidebar we're using avatar and we probably have a bunch of components so let's just start with the avatar for example that one is here on a and i'm going to run this command to add the avatar component then we probably need a button that's for sure we have their input so button input then we have badge and let's see what else do we have here. So, okay, yeah, sidebar, I forgot about that one already. So sidebar also here in the content, we have table, drop down menu, and that's it probably, sidebar and card. Okay, so we need here to add, let's go one more time. So we need card, we need, what else? Yeah, drop down menu and what else was here? Table. Table. And finally, we need that sidebar. Let's see if it's just added like this. I'm not sure. Sidebar. 
yes and now we should be good let's see now our dependencies so here nothing is glowing anymore that's nice then here on dashboard page we don't have dashboard sidebar but we created it here it should be here it's just not seeing it yet i'm going to reload the window here and let's see if it is seeing it now so dashboard sidebar and here nothing is glowing also in the content everything looks good let's see the main page yes so now if we go to our local host we probably need to restart it once oh we don't even need to restart it so now everything is working we have shed cn dashboard and it's really looking nice everything is working just fine here where is that drop down menu i don't know maybe somewhere here ah, it doesn't matter so now what we need to do is to turn this whole dashboard to 8-bit style to do that we are going to use the 8-bit CN library, so we just need to import exactly the same components that we are using on our dashboard. For example, first one is this card, so I'm going to add it to our project. Then we need, I'm just going to edit the commands right here. Everything is exactly the same, it's just, it has the 8-bit prefix. So here, 8-bit button, then we need let's just force everything here then we need the drop down menu which we didn't see where it is in the first place but let's just add it because we have it then we need our table right there nice then we are going to add input after our input we can add our badge and after that i think those are all the components that we need let's check one more time so here card table drop down menu button input we have this lucid react icons we could also change that one and that's it we have the sidebar but that one is still not created in 8bcn i'm going to do it next week i promise and oh yeah and we have the avatar also which is available in 8-bit cn so 8-bit avatar adding that one also and now we have all the components just copy pasted mirror images of 8-bit cn and shed cn and what we need to do now is just go one by one this dashboard content and all the components and change from components UI to 8-bit directory right here. So we are just replacing every import to have this 8-bit prefix when importing the components. And we can already check now the difference. So let's go to create next app. We can see that we already have this pixelated look. So now we have a couple of things to fix. This input, for example, is not looking good. And also this table doesn't need this border and there is a variant for that one so here variant and then borderless that one should solve it then if we go yeah now it is looking better but we still have here this border it's oh it's right here so we are going to remove completely this class name and now it is without a border and it is looking much better already Let's now fix this input quickly. So I'm going to search here for input. Here it is. So it has a bunch of class names. I'm going to delete it. I'm going to delete this icon as well. And this div, it is inside the form. We can just leave that one. And let's try it out. How is it looking now? Oh, now it's across the screen. So we are just going to delete this form as well. And we can here just put width to be let's say one third of the screen and it is still not working because of this flex one so here it is now it is better we have our input working nicely and we can now just fix this sidebar to be also pixely and maybe these titles as well
So the easiest way to use here the pixelated font is we can go to the badge, 8-bit badge, and here we can see that we are using the press start font. So I'm going to my layout file and I'm going to override all these fonts. We are going to import here the press start 2p font from Google Fonts and we are just going to use it here in body instead of other fonts. I don't know why AI is not giving me now anything it's like killing me whenever i need it so now we can here put class name and if we go back to our project we can see that everything is now pixelated so here the titles also here the navigation items and everything is now looking really great in that 8-bit style we can also add quickly the light and dark mode so we can see how is it looking in dark mode. So here we are going to dark mode, Next.js, we are going to install next themes dependency, pmpm, PMPM add next themes. Then we need to create our provider and put it inside of our components directory, theme provider.tsx. I'm copy pasting it here and we are just going to put it inside of our layout file. So we are going back to our layout and inside of our body, we are wrapping up the children with the theme provider and we are going to import it from our components directory. So now if we go here back to our project, I need to restart it. So here I'm running again pmpm dev. I think my theme is already dark, so it's going to be dark probably automatically. Oh, it's not. Okay. But we need that we are going to put the mod toggle component. So we are going to pick it up here. Here it is. I'm copy pasting that one, putting it inside the UI directory mod toggle.tsx, pasting it here. And we are just going to use the here we are going to use the 8-bit drop down menu and the 8-bit button and now in our what was it called the page something dashboard content here we are going to put it right next to our input so here we need to put flex and justify between and we are going to put mod toggle right here i'm importing it from my ui directory and now if we go back to our project we can see here that we have our mod toggle button but it is not in the right place so here in our div we probably need to put here full width for our div yeah now it's good and we just need to wrap again the input and put the width to be one third nice so now we can click our dark mode it is working and it is looking even more 8-bit and old school than light mode so we finished our dashboard in 8-bit style i hope you enjoyed in this video warriors if you want to contribute in any way on 8-bit cn be my guest you have the GitHub issues, you can come to Discord channel, we have their text channel 8BitCN, so we are talking all the time. And to watch more content like this, join the Mighty Horde, subscribe!